Hello guys, Synthetic Programming here, and today we're going to be making a non-Newtonian fluid. That is a fluid that acts like a solid. This is a really cool experiment, and for this project, all you're going to need is cornstarch and water. Cornstarch is pretty common, you can find it in your kitchen or at a local grocery store. And water can be found pretty much anywhere, unless you live in the middle of the desert, in which case this might not be the experiment for you. <laughs> so. What we're going to do now is start out with a clean Tupperware and add some cornstarch. Depending on the brand of cornstarch you use, you're going to need different amounts of water. And so what I can tell you right now is you're going to add cornstarch and add water until you have a mixture that's not too wet, but not too dry either. Trust me, you'll be able to tell. And uh, here you can see me adding the water. Uh, when I add the water, some of the surface cornstarch mixes and it becomes a little bit solid, but not too much. And uh, I like to add some green food coloring just to spice it up, make it a little more interesting. It makes the mixture a lot cooler. So here you can see me start to mix, and it's difficult because you're starting to make the non-Newtonian fluid. And non-Newtonian fluids work like this. You've got strands of particles that act like a liquid when they're apart, but when you apply pressure, like a punch or a push, it pushes the strands of particles together and forms a solid. So here you can see the non-Newtonian fluid we just created. I'm going to poke it really hard, and then I'm going to punch it. You can see it flowing like a liquid, but every time I punch it, it, it doesn't give like a liquid. It doesn't splash, and that's because it's a non-Newtonian fluid. So here I'm putting pressure on the outside of a ball. The second I stop, it flows back into its liquid state. And here you can see me rip it in half. It breaks in half like a solid, and then suddenly flows like a liquid. This is a super cool experiment, guys. You guys should all try it out. It's really cool. Some people do it in school, and it's really easy to get rid of. Once you're done, just run it under some water, wash it down the drain. It's not bad for your kitchen or anything. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and please go check out Theft HD. Theft HD is the guy who made the new uh, intro for synthetic programming videos that you guys just watched at the beginning of this video. And also remember to check out one of our other videos. There's links right here. Uh, we've got Molotov cocktails and smoke bombs. Anyway, I'm Ethan with Synthetic Programming. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.